Today we've come down to, well, we're sort of halfway between Hereford and Worcester. And we've come down here for a special reason. We've come down here to look at a new car. Well, in fact, we bought it, so looking is past tense, really. And that does, of course, mean we've got to say goodbye to our old friend Katie Sue. Hello everybody, this is Joe, this is the friendly salesman who's helped us through the purchase. And let's hope that it's going to be something that we're going to be really happy with. Many of you will know that uh, I've spent a lot of time looking at an Audi, or looking for an Audi. But unfortunately, the thing, the standout feature for me is this pilot assist. And these facilities are available on Audis, but very, very few of them had them fitted as an option. And the problem with that is finding a second-hand car with the option that you want that doesn't have hundreds of thousands of miles on has been quite difficult. There you go. Tell, us, tell us about our experience. Our experience? Well, apart from our oh, knobby idea for getting the V5, <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. Here we are, Stephen in his new car. Navigate to Leeds Castle. There are more than one Stephen. Which one do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we're out and about in the new Volvo. It's very comfy, very pleasant place to be. I have noticed that second exit roundabout onto the A278. I have noticed though that I've got the seat heater on and it's not making my bum very warm. So I'm a bit concerned it might not be working. And that's not really a good thing considering it's a Volvo Select car and they should have checked everything. Now exit roundabout. The standout feature of this car, and really the reason we went for it, is the autopilot. The autopilot is absolutely magnificent. It will actually drive for you. So it's got a combination of adaptive cruise and lane assist. And you can literally take your hands off the steering wheel and the car will drive. It's not actually designed for that, but once you've had your hands off the steering wheel for more than about 10 or 15 seconds, it will complain and say, apply steering. But as an assistance feature, it is absolutely fantastic. And it does give you enough time to take your hands off the wheel to say, open a bottle of water or something like that. And it does mean that when you're looking at this magnificent infotainment system, that you can Take your eyes off the road for just a little bit of time while you're fiddling with it. So Stephen, what are your favourite features of your new automobile? Well, as I've just said, the autopilot is fantastic. And the sound system is incredible. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you or demonstrate the sound system because otherwise YouTube will give us an inf copyright infringement. But here we are. Can't be bothered changing lanes. So I'm just sitting behind this lorry and the adaptive cruise has got it under control and it's doing the steering for me. Which gives me plenty of time to look out and concentrate on the traffic. So this is a car that's about the equivalent to an Audi A6 or Mercedes E-Class. It's not as big as the A8 that uh, I was originally looking for, 
but it's the biggest that Volvo make, or the biggest saloon anyway. And there we go, car steering round the corner. Plenty of room in the back though. I assume you're comfortable in the back. It has also got a good old-fashioned diesel engine and I'm a big believer in diesel. I know the, uh, the green people complain and say diesel is dirty but diesel engines are far more efficient than petrol. And there are people who uh, who don't like the pilot assist feature. There are people who say they like to be in control. As far as I'm concerned, I'd be quite happy to sit in the back and let the car do all the driving. Please keep left. Another quite impressive feature is the traffic sign recognition. It doesn't just recognize speed limit signs. It alerts you of speed camera warning signs, uh, no entry signs if you try and go the wrong way down a one-way street and uh, I don't know I guess other cars have that but I'm impressed with it anyway the only concern I do have about the pilot assist feature is it does try and keep you very close to the left hand side of the lane which is fine when you're in the left hand lane but when you're overtaking a lorry you do feel like you just want to move over to the right hand side of the lane to, to stay clear of it. Of course just passing us now is somebody with a Tesla. His car's doing all the driving for him. Yes, I know, I think you've got it on follow mode or something. <laughs> oh, there we go, just got the warning saying apply steering. I think understanding the limitations of the system is, is key because there are people who there are people who think that they can really just take their eyes off the road and let the car do everything. And that really isn't the case. It really is an assistance feature. Please take the next exit, eight, and then take the third exit at the roundabout. Oh, and the sat-nav is very polite. It always says please before it gives you an instruction. 